So shout out to the Shake Squad. Nutty Gang stand up. It's your boy Shake, and I'm going to walk you through the building of my two-way slashing playmaker with 61 badges. This is one of a few of my favorite builds so far in the demo. Of course, things are going to change when the full game comes out. This is the pie chart you want to choose. I want you to notice my driving dunk, my ball handle, and my perimeter defense. Now, we've got a couple choices here for my physical profile. We could either go with a 95 vertical for a point guard, 94 speed, 92 acceleration, or we go with a 95 speed and 95 acceleration with an 83 vertical. I think I'll choose that. Now pay attention to how I distribute the attributes here. I'm going to do my best to max out each category as much as possible. Now my pass accuracy and ball handle are inflated because I'm currently 6'3". That'll all change when I get him to 6'5". Now if you balance them correctly, you'll see that I have 61 badges with the high emphasis on defense and playmaking. So we're going to go with a defined body shape and we'll take him to six foot five and notice my driving dunk went up to an 87 but my ball handle went down to an 85 and that's no good but that's all right we'll fix that later let's go ahead and get his weight down so i can increase my vertical quick side note if you notice my mid-range shot is a 72 and my three-point shot is a 67 keep in mind i plan on boosting my shooting so my mid will be a 77 and my three will be a 72. And so if I go with the shot creating takeover, as I heat up, those numbers will be in the 80s. Now with my wingspan, my defense is already pretty good. So we're gonna drop it down once. So we get that 86 ball handle. And when you combine that with my 95 speed, my speed with ball is just good enough to get those tier three first steps. Now I have a 72 mid range and a 71 post fade. And that was still good enough to get me the shot creating takeover for a total of four takeover options. And I went with Slasher just because it's easier for takeover in this video. And we are a two-way slashing playmaker, which seems like a triple archetype, but with that fourth takeover, I'm like a quadruple archetype. And let me get that Jordan jump shot because it's one of the few that I've got down. And I believe when I started making this player, I was on my 10th build between Xbox and PlayStation 4. So I'm gonna exercise the right to experiment a little. Gotta have that contact finisher. And I recommend Acrobat even more than Giant Slayer. Get that flexible release, since in the demo I can't shoot. And I've noticed that every time I equip Floor General, we beat the Warriors. So we gotta have that along with Quick First Step and that Ankle Breaker Hall of Fame. And I believe this is my 10th build between Xbox and PlayStation 4. So I reserve the right to experiment. We're gonna go with Brick Wall Hall of Fame as a point guard. So I'm gonna do my best to call this gameplay and if you guys remember, in 2K18, I brought you guys a Derrick Rose build, my Hustle Bestbrook, Russell Westbrook build. Also brought you guys Penny Hardaway and LeBron James. So I think I want to bring that back. So instead of using, you know, my verified face scan from 2K on the PS4, maybe I'll just, you know, make some really awesome builds like a Kawhi Leonard build or a Giannis build. So expect me to do some more build videos. And if they do well, I'll keep the series going on the channel. And this build is a lot of fun. Look at that rebound. You saw when I bumped him up to 6'5", it increased my defensive rebounding to an 86. That's nearly a 90 defensive rebound for a point guard. Needless to say, this build is a triple double waiting to happen. And this build has an 87 driving dunk and an 86 ball handle. You know what that means. If you've been following me over the years, that's ankles and a body. You guys know how much I want to get back into doing my career videos again, where we can go back into the park mentality, where the defender reaches and you break his ankles, and then you go to the rim and you posterize the big man. <laughs> that's going to be fun, man. I think that's going to be a lot of fun if I decide to use this build. I mean, this is definitely on my list for either one of the consoles. I can get all the dunk packages, which means I can posterize people and step over them and, and embarrass people under the rim. And on top of that, we can drop dudes with ankle breakers. Like, I mean, we can really put them down with Ankle Breaker Hall of Fame. So I expect a whole lot of hilarious thumbnails to come out of this build if I choose to use them. I haven't quite figured out the best steal method, you know, to get like 10 steals in a game. Maybe that's because it's a demo. But if I figure that out, we getting some quadruple dubs in my career mode as a point guard. So 
So the only real thing that this build is lacking is his jump shot. But as I mentioned earlier, if we get some boost and I go with that shot creating, we can definitely start hitting some fadeaways. If I get that green beam. Now I've been saying since before the demo dropped that I guess it depends on what the meta is this year. Is it going to be all about that sharp playmaker? You know, that sharp play was really difficult to, to guard last year. And it made you want to, you know, if you can't beat him, join him. And I just thought about it and I was like, man, I, I still want to try to beat him. So maybe I'll just make a, a defender, you know, like a two-way slashing playmaker. Seems like a really good build that can cause some problems for some of those elite offensive players since I'm pretty much an elite defender. And I know you guys are used to seeing me as a play shot. And I know I mentioned in one of my videos that I was going to make a sharp playmaker or some form of a sharp playmaker so it would make it easier for me to play with any of you guys in the community. I can run with slashers, I can run with lockdowns. I wouldn't have to rely on somebody else to be that sharpshooter because I could hit those shots myself. But right there, I could have got a triple-double. But well, my man Siakam was on some, nah, well, let's, let's be nice to the Warriors. Man, I'm trying to pad my stats. So I don't know, guys. We still got a few days to decide. And that's 61 badges on a two-way slashing playmaker near quadruple archetype. And it's very, very tempting. So I don't know. You guys let me know how you feel in the comment section below. As always, smack that like button. Help your brother out. Turn on notifications and I'll see you in the next one. And also, every time you go up a level, you get plus one to all your attributes? For how long? And is that permanent? I understand if you go back, you lose them. But let's say you don't go back. If I have an 85 ball control, does that mean I'm going to have an 86 ball control? Even if my max was an 85? What if your max is one point away from getting elite posterizer dunk packages?